This is my soda kill and uh, it's firing, as you saw in the burners there. This is the, uh, the early stages of the firing. Well, it's not real early. It's, uh, it's probably about uh, 2,000 degrees. So, pretty hot. Now I'm looking inside the kiln, getting a little closer to it, and uh, you can see some of the things. I'll show you a little closer when I get it uh, unloaded. Here's a little pitcher that oh, almost fell back there. Uh, faceted pitcher. And anyway, when this is unloaded, uh, you can see uh, see the results a little more clearly. So I'm excited about unloading it. It's always fun. Here's another little pitcher sits on those those pads right there because as you can see the soda is built up all over the interior of the kiln on the shelves that's what that white stuff is on the shelves um, and the post there's a post you can see the soda build up on that kiln see all the little pads that the piece is set on and the glaze the soda build up on the shelves it's on the walls too it's all over those are the bag walls there and those, that hole in the back there is where you shoot the soda in. There's eight of them all around the kiln. There's another one. And the burners come in from down there. I don't, think, I don't know if you can really see the holes or not. Yeah, you can see them. There's six of those. I've got a few pieces here that are from the soda firing that I've brought into the studio to show you. And this first one is a, a little teapot not very functional and I call it a biplane jet teapot with dual exhaust and wire handle uh, from that title you can tell that it's not uh, meant to be very functional it's more of a of a spoof on a teapot I guess and a spoof on an airplane as well it doesn't fly believe it or not um, and it barely pours tea but nevertheless it does work um, it, I find these kind of things kind of fun. You can see the dual exhaust in the back here, and you can see the the two four wings all together, and the little bitty hole in the in the spout there, that, so it will pour tea. Um, there's a little buildup of the soda around uh, that you can see the kind of glassy areas, and then as you move down toward those orange those more orange areas, that's some area that didn't get uh, a whole lot of soda on it. So it, they're kind of here's another one. This is a little uh, tea bowl kind of thing. It has sort of a little bit of an undulating rim, and you can see the the random effects of the soda soda ash that I spray into the kiln. I mix the soda ash with water, spray it in the kiln at about 2,400 degrees, and it reacts with the clay and it makes makes a glaze, sodium silicate. Now this next piece right here, little pitcher, is a good example of. Uh, exactly how that works. I'll show you in a little more, a little more detail. See, the soda buildup is more prominent right in here. And as you turn this piece around, you can see there's less glaze on it. Now, this, what happens is pot right here is another example where there's a little more soda down there in the bottom, soda buildup. I call it soda. It's not really soda. It's so, soda, sodium silicate that is the glass. And there's a lot of it down there and less up in here. And this is the color of the clay body right there, the dark brown. And then here is another piece. This is a some fairly large pitcher, not huge, but fairly large. Um, and this shows you an example of a glaze that's, that, that was actually put on the pot first and then put in the kiln. So it melted like a traditional glaze in a traditional firing. And then this is the buildup of the, of the glass from the from the soda firing down in here, this kind of speckled surface. So that's it. A few more pieces around, but uh, that's enough for now. Talk to you later. Thank you for watching. Bye.